असलकुम मेरा नाम है फरू खान और आप देख रहे गेमिंग के लिए आगे तो चलिए खेल शुरू करते हैं Previously on The Walking Dead. What if my parents come home and I'm not there? I've got my walkie-talkie in case they try that way. Baby, you gotta see this. Here, Clem. Want some uh, batteries? I think we should look for your parents. They always stay in the same place when they go there. The Marsh House? Yes, that's it. You didn't come into town from the railroad, did you? We got to go. <laughs> yeah. Why? Clementine? Clementine! Oh. No. Clementine's gone. Wherever she is, I have to find her. We have a better chance of finding her if we all go together. Who's with me? We'll look for Clementine together. Hell yeah. If this was me asking you for help, would you be there for me? I need your help, please. I'm sorry, but you're on your own on this one. I swear, before this is all over, I'm going to show you I can do something right. Come <laughs> time. No. Vernon, get out here. There doesn't have to be any trouble here. All I want is the girl. Give her back and nobody needs to get hurt. Clementine, are, are you all right? Where are you? Vernon, you son of a bitch. Tony. Who is this? It's not Vernon, if that's what you're thinking. And you should really watch your tone. Clementine's fine. But if I were you... I choose my next words very carefully. Please, don't hurt her. Hurt her? I'm not the one who hurts people. There's an ocean of dead between you and me and her, and if I can thank God for anything anymore, it's that. Better not fucking hurt her. I swear. This is bad, but we can deal with it together. We're going to need to hurry. How's that feeling? Fine. Don't worry about it. It wasn't a full chomp. No, it wasn't. We don't have a lot of time. We're about to have a lot less. We three will stop them getting in. Lee, find a way out of here. Hey, I think I found a way out. Gonna shoot my way through. I can't get my hands in between the doors. I think it's some sort of spreading device. Grosses me out just looking at it. Looks like a car jack. I don't want to imagine this being used on a body. I'll have these doors open in two seconds. Quiet. 
What the hell happened? It's a bike. Well, what can we do? I don't know. Help me move him. Jesus. Are you sure this will help? You got any better ideas? Okay. It's now or never. Stop! He's awake! He's awake! He's bitten. We've still got to do something. Do we have to cut it off, though? We're trying to save him. At the very least, buy him some time. But this way? Do we know it works? Of course not. Is there gonna be a lot of blood? There's gonna be a shitload of blood. What if he dies? Then the rest of us go after Clementine and get the hell out of Savannah. If there's any chance this saves his life, we have to take it. Let's do it. Maybe it'll work. It's a big risk. Yeah. We're down here without a lot of options. Fuck it. Cut it off. Seriously? Yeah. I'll go as fast as I can. If I don't live through this, I need you to know you. Try to stay still! I know! Getting to the point where we figured you weren't coming back. My arm's on fire. I can still feel my fingers. Holy hell. Oh, this hurts more than you can believe. Do you think you'll be able to travel? You lost some blood. The elevator's open, let's go! I'll bring up the rear. I don't want to bleed on anyone. Jeez. Oh, We're gonna have to go as quiet as possible and see if we can make it to an empty floor or even the roof. You think it's possible for you? Yeah. Keep going.
Wasn't this city empty not too long ago? Those Crawford bastards did one thing right, I guess. There's thousands. Did they follow us here? It seems like it, but that can't be, can it? That's crazy. They can't track. They just roam. Clementine's out there somewhere. Gobbled up in all of that. We'll get to her, Lee. We'll do whatever we have to. Look, let's get our bearings and see if we can figure out a way to make it across town. Good? Good. I, uh, don't think we can ignore what just happened to Lee. He lost a lot of blood down there. Omid's right. If you see yourself getting woozy or, you know, if it didn't work, just take it easy. Well, it wasn't my favorite hand anyway. Really? Without old Lefty, I'd be done for. Shut up, Omid. Seriously, though. Don't treat me any different. I got one goal, you hear me? Yeah, we do. Now what? We need to get down there and find a scared little girl. Let's try to get our bearings. What's up over here? Bell Tower. That's what's up. Hmm, yeah. That could help. Hey. How's the leg? It's good. Wouldn't mean shit if you hadn't left Clementine with me when you went into Crawford. That little girl saved my life. She's something, right? Yeah. I think you're Clem's favorite, you know that? Really? Yeah, she's a big fan. You get away with shit I never would. We're getting her back, Lee. You know that, right? Yeah. When we get this fucker, we'll get out of sight and leave you with him. You get me? I get you. I'll see if we can make it out to that bell tower. Okay. Be careful, though. I don't want you going any sooner than you have to. Thanks. With the bell tower on this side of the hospital, and the mansion over there. Uh, that might be our way off this rooftop. I can make it to that bell tower. I can draw the walkers down to that side of the hospital. There'll be thousands of them. That'll thin out the streets between here, the mansion, and River Street. Even if it's just for a few minutes. No way. It's higher than this roof for starters. No way. It's higher than this roof for starters. That's a bell tower. Like the ones Molly used to draw the walkers around the city. You need a hand with that? I got it. <clears throat> Damn it. <clears throat> oh, shit. <clears throat> the bells. Yeah. Could buy us some time. Draw as many as we can this way. Get down off the roof on the opposite side and bust our asses getting back to the mansion. You shouldn't be the one to go. My leg's feeling better. Let me do it. I'll do it. If we have to decide who takes a risk like this, it should be the guy who's got the least to lose. What's the worst that could happen? I get bitten again? So we're agreed then. Maybe we should have someone more able-bodied doing that. You sure you're up for it, Lee? Say that again and you're gonna find out. Fair enough.
Bullshit. Huh? Oh, fuck. Holy shit, man! Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. I was wishing I had my other hand. No shit! Try to find another way out of there? Locked. Shit. The exit in here's locked! They're coming this way! Tons of them! Jesus! Now get back here! I think I have to jump! There's no way back! Fuck! Be careful! You got this! Got this, motherfucker. Nice. Now let's get the hell out of here! They fucked us! What? Who? Vernon. He didn't have Clem. So where the fuck is she? With someone else. We're going after her. Fuck. Just... Jesus! Wait, the cancer patients did this? Yeah, they were waiting. Tired of living underground, I guess. They kicked the shit out of me and tossed me in here. Wait, what the hell happened to you? Cut it off. Seriously? Yeah. I lived through it, which is a start. And, well, uh... I thought it might buy me some time. You know, get that bite off my body? Hopefully whatever's gonna happen takes longer. Jesus. Omid, can you go over the fence and let us into the backyard? We shouldn't be out in the open. Yeah. This is not happening. Everything is so fucked. Clementine is still out there. So we get Clementine, and then what? We get the fuck out of cities. I'm done with cities. We go into the countryside and make a go of it. Yeah, that seems like a good idea to me. Nobody asked you. You just did. Don't get fucking smart with me, Ben. Chill. Do you remember we had a boat? A boat! Everyone keep it together. Nothing has changed, has it? Nothing has changed? I mean immediately. We stay the course. Don't turn on each other. Yeah, chill out, Kenny. We can do this in the yard. Ben, I swear to God. What do we do without a boat? Get to the countryside. Dicked around with cities and coastlines and boats too long. Take her out there. Live as safe as you can, okay? Look, I agree with you. I think out in the country is the safest place to be. 
But you're not dead yet, so put a pin in that, okay? Where the hell do you get off? I'm just saying we should all chill, not just you. Chill? Lee's bitten and God knows how long he has left. Clementine is who the fuck knows, and we're robbed of the only hope we've had. So? So Lee should have left your ass in Crawford. We got enough problems. Fuck you, Kenny! Whoa, Ben! No, let him. I am so, so, so sorry about Katja and Duck. I am! And I know I fucked up. But stop pushing me around and stop wishing I was dead! No! You know how they died. You've said goodbye. I never got to see my family, my parents, my little sister. Do you get that? Your family is gone, but at least you had them to lose. I never made it home. They could be alive or dead or walkers or worse, and I don't know. So give me a fucking break. Oh, Ben, I'm... Oh shit! Here they come! In the house! They shouldn't be able to get into the backyard, right? Maybe not. We can secure this place. Krista! Uh, I'm checking the living room. Everyone else, look for weapons. What is it? Front doors! Lee, help! Cut their fucking arms off! There's gotta be a knife or something in there! Hurry! Take their goddamn arms off! <laughs> Now what? Get ready to fight. This place seems dirty to me. I think we're fine. Sturdy my ass! Get upstairs! Go! Dropped it down there. That could have gone better. Everyone okay? Lee's still bitten. Shut up. Okay. Let's get out of here and keep moving. Kid's right. We gotta keep moving. Think there's any chance we get Clem and catch up to those goddamn thieves? I don't know. Maybe. Well, we're not going out through this window. No latches, no roof access, and 30 feet straight down. 
Anyone have any ideas? I bet this guy would. He's got a resourceful air about him. Knock it off. Dixon Kent III. Industrial... Mead? Krista. Just trying to lighten the fucking tone. We need solutions, not stupid jokes. I'm sorry. So, no ideas then. There's gotta be another way. Check the floor for any other access, a vent, anything. Or we wait for the house to clear out and stick to the high ground. <coughs> hey, you're not looking great, and you're warm. I'm okay. Don't. What does that mean? She's at the hotel, where her parents were staying. He hasn't moved her. Yet. Yeah. Yet. We need to start thinking about more than just Clementine when it comes to our... urgency. What do you mean? How do we get out of here? That's the whole point. We don't know. Okay, now your life depends on it. How do you get out of here? I don't know. I don't get it. I do. Like I said, everyone needs to keep looking for a way out, damn it! We're trapped in here! Do you think that worked? I... I don't know. I hope so. I think we need to have an adult conversation about what happens if Lee takes another spill. Hey, look. We could be looking at a Larry situation here. Who's Larry? It don't matter. He looks fine to me. I think it'd be best if we just worried about getting to Clem right now. We're not gonna do her any good if you've attacked us. That isn't gonna happen. How do you know that? Guys, I don't know what happened before Omid and I showed up, but we can cross this bridge when we get to it. Lee, I'm not advocating anything here, but how is this not a thing? We're all so worked up about Clementine that we're forgetting what the fuck happened to you. My arm is not the issue. I'm not the problem. The 500 walkers in the house and no door in this room are the goddamn problem. Yeah, maybe at the moment, but who's to say when it becomes an issue? At that point, there may not be any time left to deal with it. This is getting out of hand. You're gonna listen to me. We will get Clementine back, with or without you. Because I haven't given up everything to die because we were stupid. I'm sorry, okay? Fuck, we can't do this! We're gonna have to! Ah! You ruined that dude's face. Shut up, sweetie. Look! It's corroded to hell. What's on the other side of this wall? A 30-foot drop? No. This mansion butts up against the one next door. I'll be damned. We're not lifers on Alcatraz. <laughs> this wall ain't shit. Is this really possible? Yeah, we can do this. Okay. We'll work in shifts. Omid, Krista, and I. Lee, you rest. We have to work fast. I wasn't gonna hurt you. Sure, pal. I know. I'm glad you told us when you got bitten. It would have been easy not to. Yeah. Well... We probably would have let you go alone if you hadn't told us. Which would have been a mistake. If I were you, I would have been scared shitless. I am. And when it happened? I panicked. But now I feel it inside me. Like the day before you get the flu. It's horrible. It's so weird. I keep doing a double take on your arm, expecting it to be there. I'm hoping whatever's in their bite is gone too. What do you think the odds are of that? I don't know. I know everyone's wondering. Even if it just slows down the process, I'd be happy. You don't mean that. So when we get this guy, what do you think? 
He makes sure he never takes anybody from anyone again. World's got enough evil in it. And, you know, whatever happens to you, uh... Seriously, can we not talk like that? The entire time we were at the hospital, I could sense you think you're as good as dead. I was bitten, Krista. You cut it off. What good is it to plan around that work? What good is it for you to give up? I haven't given up. Find her family, okay? Somewhere she'll be safe. Don't do this. I want you to hear me. I hear you, but I'm not having this conversation. Krista, we could look after her. As long as she has a family. You hear me? Yeah. Of course. What about him? We uh, gotta support him. He's only a kid still. It's easy to forget that. He loses shit like that often? No. That was a first. It's good that he did. Kenny couldn't pull that shit on me. He better not do it again. He ruined Kenny's life. Outbursts like that aren't fucking appropriate. You do feel bad for him though, right? Well, seems like it got through to Kenny. Whatever that's good for. Alright. I'm out of gas. You look good and rested. Sure. If you don't count an infected leg. You want me to do it? Nah, and you can hop in after me. Shouldn't be long now. It's good we're forced to take a breath. <clears throat> that, uh, feeling any better? I can handle it. The pain, that is. I'm just really goddamn tired. I mean, do you think it worked? Did it, did it help at all? I feel like a man got bitten. So, take that for what it's worth. I still can't believe you went and got chomped. Just fucking hell. At least he told us. Took some brass. I don't think I would've. How are you? I'm... Uh, I don't know how to answer that. I'm sorry. You've lost more than anyone. Well, as much as anyone. You don't need to get emotional. I'm just asking him how he is. Lee's right. Your boyfriend's making decent progress. Need to be ready to move. I agree. I just wanted to say, you've all lost a lot. We're still here, though. You're right to hate him, you know? Maybe. But what good's it doing? I'm not getting them back. He's having a rough go. Yeah, we all are. <laughs> this guy tell you much about what we've been through? Bits and pieces. Before y'all, we had this woman, Lily, with us. Lord knows where she is now. Anyway, we had to make some tough calls with her dad. She came between Lee and I pretty good. And I spent a lot of nights hating this guy's guts. I'm sorry for hurting you in any way, Kenny. It's impossible to go through life without causing some sort of pain. But sometimes I can't help but wonder if I could have caused a little rest. You and me both, Doc. Well, cheers. <sighs> I'm through! No walkers. Things are looking up. Everyone keep a goddamn eye out.
This place seems pretty sealed off. Well... She left me, a son, people that cared about us. I forgive her, but it don't make it any less wrong. You don't just end it, because it's hard. You stick it out, and you help the folks you care about. So let's figure a way out of here and get that little girl. We should move. Yeah. Got at least one shot left. Let's clear the room before we move on. Lee, figure out where we're headed. Lee, you okay? Yeah. Let's keep at it. Might be the way out. Nothing other than personal items in here. Looks like we can stay off the streets all the way to River Street if we're careful. Let's go. Go ahead. Fucking mouth. Holy fuck! What are we gonna do? Kenny and I can handle this. Dude, let me help you. You're already hurt. Even more reason we all don't need to risk it. You worry about her. And if all this goes bad, you might be Clementine's last hope. We'll keep an eye out. Ow! Oh. I'm okay! I'm okay! Just get me out of here! God damn it, Ben! I'm so sorry! I'm sorry! No, no, just don't panic. We're gonna get your ass up. Really? I thought you... Fucking hell. What is it? I'm okay. I'm okay. We can get you up. We can, uh... Ow! Oh, God! If he'd be quiet, then maybe. But Kenny, this is fucking serious. He could die just by moving him wrong. I won't move! Ben! Oh. Oh. Fuck! Fuck! Ah. 
Oh god, don't let them get to me! Do you have any bullets left? This has only got one left in it. I'm out. Shit. Get the fuck out of here. What? Go back. She needs you, Lee. Kenny! This is not a discussion! Hell no, man! I'm not leaving! What did I just say? Let's get Ben and get out of here! What the fuck, Kitty? Lee. Lee, it's okay. No, kid. No, it's not! It's just something I gotta do. You know that. Go get that girl. Back, you sons of bitches! Damn it, Kenny! Yeah. God damn it! Oh, fuck! Kenny, please! What happened? I heard a shot. Kenny made sure that Ben didn't feel any more pain than he had to. What? It was Ben's biggest fear, you know. Kenny had one bullet and that's how he used it. God, poor fucking kid. You saw them die? Nobody was getting out of there. I'm sorry, Lee. He wasn't a bad guy. A lot of folks might not have always agreed. Maybe even me. We should go. Right behind you. Do you want to talk? That's two on him now. The motherfucker has got Clementine has been and Kenny to answer for. Keep a clear head, Lee. We wouldn't be out here. We'd all been together to defend against Vernon. And we'd be out on the water. Everyone would be alive. Look, Lee. This is a shitty time. But I want to clear something up. What is it? Now with Kenny gone. Means Omid and I have to stay safe. For her. You guys would be great for her. Keep her safe. We do our best. You know that. Good. Thanks. Whatever your best is, I'll trust it. That's all you can do.
River Street's just up ahead. Whoa, careful. Even the buildings are full. They never know where their next meal is. Be careful through here. Yeah, we don't need any more accidents. I'm sorry. It's okay. Marshall's Hotel is around the corner of the block. We have to cross here. Well, at least it doesn't look like a death trap. Who's going first? You're the lightest. He's got a busted leg and you're walking for two. I'm obviously not doing so hard. Decision doesn't make itself. I'll go first, in case anything happens out there. You sure? Yeah. Just go nice and slow. Almost there. It's an easy crossing. Good. Figure something out. There's not a ton of options. Can you help me? I don't know what we can do from here. Anything. It's fucked, Lee. Fuck it. I'm going for it. Going for it? What does that mean? It means I'm already bitten. I just have to push my way through. What the fuck? But maybe you got to it fast enough. Maybe you'll be fine. I can't risk losing more time on a long shot. Find a boat. We'll meet north of town. A boat? We still have to get out of the city. I'll get Clementine and meet you. What if... Don't what if. I'll meet you.
got us adjoining rooms. Where is she? I already told you she's fine. You look horrible. And you're missing an arm. Go over there. Put your things down. Let me out! Who's out there? Quiet, please, sweetie. Your things. There. don't have anything on me. Really? You got all the way here without any weapons? Lost them. I don't believe you. Seriously? You don't believe me? Go ahead. Search me. No, I'm not touching you. Just sit down. Do you know who I am? No. I don't know anything about you. You wouldn't. People like you don't. Now you're thinking, who would have it out for me, huh? A few weeks back, there might have been a station wagon in the forest, full of all sorts of food, water, Things you need to survive. Yeah, I'm not some cannibal, V. Some killer out in the woods. Some villain. I'm just a dad. I coach Little League. I didn't take from you. Your people didn't? I didn't agree with it. That's what Clementine said. Why didn't you? It wasn't right. It wasn't our stuff. That's real good of you. Look, what do you want me to say? I don't want you to say anything. I want you to know what happened. Have you ever hurt somebody you care about? Yes, of course. Who? My wife. Clementine said she wasn't with you. I heard her a long time ago. How? It doesn't matter. If you say so. I hurt her so bad. My son Adam went missing. I took him out hunting even though my wife said he was too young. I figured he had to learn. I came back without him and the look on her face said, You are a monster. We all went out looking for him. We never found him. I hurt her so bad. And then we came back, and all our stuff was gone. Your people, Lee. That asshole in the ball cap. His stupid fucking wife. I could have earned her trust back if they hadn't made our situation so desperate. It's not my fault. The hungrier we got, the more she blamed me. Until she finally took our daughter Elizabeth and left. They didn't get far. I found them a day later in the road. Do I look like a monster to you? No. 
I'm not like you. You killed a man with a pitchfork right in front of a little girl. I did what I had to. You lied to her about who you really are. It wasn't the right time to tell her. How many times did she almost die with you? That's not the whole story. The whole story? How could you know all this? You're a monster. You're a murderer and a thief. And I'm going to hurt you so bad. Just give me Clementine back. I'd rather kill her myself. Because that's what will happen if she goes with you. After I found Clementine on my radio, I wasn't even mad at you. I was coming for the others. For revenge. But the more I heard about the things you did and the danger she was in, our plan changed. Lead, listen to me. I need you to hear this before what happens next. I can take care of her. We can have a family. I bet you don't even know how old she is. She's eight. Wrong. She's nine. But... Her birthday was six days ago. I know how to be a dad, you know. She wouldn't be exposed to what she has been with you. That's not happening. You're crazy. Keeping her with you is crazy. Let us go. No. No, I don't think so. You're going away, and we're starting a new family. Hey, honey. I think this is all going to work out. What are you... I'm glad, too. I wish it wouldn't have had to get this bad, but it's all over, hon. Isn't it? Just about. I hate seeing you like this. I just miss your smile, honey. I miss you so much, Tess. You're gonna like Clementine a lot, though. She's not Lizzie, but she's sweet. She wouldn't hurt a fly. somewhere safe. You don't smell good. Yeah, I know. Did he hurt you? No. Not really. 
I'm sorry, Lee. Cleo, it's okay. We need to get you somewhere safe. And then we have to talk, okay? Yeah. Everything's okay now. We need to figure out how to get out of Savannah as fast as we can. Afraid. I was. You didn't act like it. I know. I am now. It's okay. Which way out? Through there. Jesus. Don't look in there. No. I know. Out to the hallway. of them to get here. That's how we'll get out of Savannah. get you cleaned up as soon as we can. Not soon enough. We'll get you cleaned up as soon as we can. Not soon enough. Are you done? A little more. I want to be sure. There. That should do it. I hope so. And you're missing something. I thought it was gone. I thought you were gone. Thank you. Stay right next to me. And walk very slowly. Don't look around. And don't panic. Mm-hmm. I'll keep you safe.
Lee, wake up. Please don't be dead. Please, no. Lee, I, I was so scared. I, I, I thought you left me. I, I, I saw my parents. I know. They didn't get to you, right? No. Oh, we got away. They're dead, for sure. Clementine, we have to get out of here as fast as we can. Well, we can't. There's thousands of them outside. We have to. I'll protect you. We'll push no, through. No, no, that's crazy. I saved you. We're safe here. I locked us in. Get that door open. I can't. Do it! It was only a little open when I found it. I closed it to keep us safe. Pull on three. One, two, three. See? Clementine, honey. Mom is gone because I cut it off. Why would you do that? Because I was bitten, Clem. Please, no. No. That's not true. Yes, it is. <laughs> I'm sorry, Clementine. I'm supposed to take care of you. I can't now. I know. I got you. You can lean on me if you have to. I'm okay. I'm okay. I thought I was helping by bringing you in here. You're just learning a lot. Never let yourself get trapped, okay? I won't. We'll get out of here. And just don't do it again. Okay, I won't, I won't, I won't. Keep going. We're almost there. <laughs> get up, Lee. The door is right here. I can't. You have to. Liam, I can't move. This is it for me here. Please, please, try to get up. I can't. You don't have much time. You gotta do something. Fast. Like what? You're gonna have to make sure I don't turn. You won't, though. Clem, I will. You know what you have to do. No, I can't. There's no way. We'll figure it all out. Don't worry. We'll get you in there. Don't worry. You're doing good. Just start by getting that door open. It's locked. It's uh. no big deal. It's just a glass window. Uh. Ow! Not with your hand.
There's a baseball bat under the counter clip. You can use that. Use the bat to shatter that window so you can reach in, okay? Okay. Watch out for broken glass. Good job. Don't be afraid of him, honey. You're smart. He isn't. You're smarter than all of them. Don't be scared of the walker. He'll be fine. The way out's through there, Clem. I know. Grab the chair, Clem. Use it to reach in to the lock. Open it. He's, he's trapped. This will be easy then. He's got keys. Probably to that door. And everything you'll need. There's keys and a gun. You're gonna need both of those. There are handcuffs on the ground. Get them. Okay, Lee. Put the handcuffs on me. Attach me to this. What? Why? No matter what happens, you're safe then. Uh, I don't know. Just do it, sweetie. Make sure they're tight. I don't... I don't want to do this. You have to. It'll keep you safe. You only have to deal with it. Strapped over there. If you're careful, you can get what you need from him. The keys, and then the gun. Yeah, the keys and the gun. Just don't be afraid. If anything gets dangerous, you're faster than he is. What should I get first? Get the gun, Claire. Always the gun. Get him! Get him! Watch out! Clem! No! The bat, Clem! Get the bat! I did it. I got him. You're strong, Clem. You... You can do anything. But I'm little. Doesn't mean nothing. 
you go see bad stuff, but it's okay. My parents. <laughs> it's so horrible. I, I can't imagine sweet pea. And now you <laughs> please. <laughs> please don't be one of them. <laughs> please don't become a walker. There's only one thing you can do. You know that. I don't know if I can. You can leave me. It's okay. You'll be just like them. It's okay. It won't be me. Please. It's time to go. You gotta get out of here. You, you can come with me. No, honey. I can't. It's okay. Please. You have to go now. M maybe. Maybe. Maybe I shouldn't let you turn. I don't want you to have to do that. Save the bullet. I'm not going anywhere. You have to always think about what you might need later. You had to shoot that man before, Claire. I don't want you getting used to it. Do you understand? Yeah, Lee, I do. Only do it when you absolutely have to. Otherwise... I'll go. I'll... I'll leave you. I'll go as fast as I can. And as safe as you can. Always be safe. Fatomid and Krista. They're looking for a boat. Find them. They'll take good care of you. <laughs> and Clem. <laughs> Keep that hair short. I will. I'll cut it myself. Great. Good. And also... What? What is it? No, don't worry. Alright. You'll be okay.
यहीं पे ख़त्म होती है मिलते हैं इसके अगले सीज़न के साथ सीज़न टू के साथ तब तक के लिए अपना ख्याल रखिए अल्लाह हाफि